The Euclid Space Telescope was launched in July 2023. Now, almost a year later, a new set of images accompanying the mission's first scientific data were released. To find out what these images reveal and to know more about the Euclid mission's objectives, I spoke to the European Space Agency's Euclid project scientist, Valeria Petorino. Let's listen in. They are very special because, first of all, they refer only to 24 hours of observations of Euclid, and these are the, really the first data which are uh, released to the public for everyone to, to play with. But also they show uh, what we've just said, so the fact that Euclid can grab in one image hundreds of thousands of objects. So there's not, they're not only visually beautiful, but they're also very informative. They contain a lot of scientific information, which is also why we have also released 10 highlight scientific papers that describe their results. You can see clusters of galaxies, uh, but also uh, stars which are forming. You can see small planets of the size of four times the mass of Jupiter. You can see something that uh, is used to understand dark matter, like, for example, arcs, arcs that are in which the light is bent due to the presence of dark matter. One of the really visually beautiful images is uh, the Messier 78, um, which is also very informative, actually, because uh, it, uh, you can see there star forming regions, you can see um, very tiny uh, details. You can really look inside the clouds, especially thanks to the near-infrared camera from Euclid, which is able to uh, detect uh, twice as many objects as uh, the, 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 the camera which observes uh, in, in the visible. And uh, so this is really uh, characteristics of the power of, uh, of Euclid. In total, there's about 300,000 sources which have been identified just in that image, included very tiny planets of the mass of four times the mass of Jupiter. The Euclid mission is a satellite that is part of the ESA Cosmic Vision Program. It was launched to space on the 1st of July 2023, last year, and it's now at 1.5 million kilometers from Earth. It is meant to address fundamental questions in the understanding of our universe. What is the nature of dark matter? What is the nature of dark energy? Why is the expansion of the universe going faster and faster. Euclid has on board two instruments, one which is um, it's a camera with 600 megapixels. So it, uh, it, it is the one that observes in the visible, where in the light that we, we can uh, see with our eyes. Um, it's a very, very powerful uh, camera. And the other instrument is the near-infrared spectrophotometer. This allows not only to uh, take images, but also to measure distances, the spectra uh, of galaxies. And the combination of do these two information is key to then reconstruct the evolution of the universe. So dark matter and dark energy are two of the biggest mystery in the understanding of the universe. In total, they make up for 95% of the total energy budget which is in the universe. So it's not something that we can neglect. It's completely fundamental for the formation of galaxies, for where we live, for the future of our universe, and for the understanding of, uh, of where, where we are in. So Euclid will observe in the next six years 1.5 billion galaxies galaxies, images of galaxies that will be used to uh, retrieve, to map the dark matter distribution in the universe over one third of the sky, so all the extragalactic sky which is available. And on the, on the other side, it will also measure the distance to about 30 million 
galaxies. This will allow us to understand the evolution of the universe, how these galaxies have formed in time, and this is a key to understanding also dark energy, how the universe is expanding, why it, the expansion is accelerating, whether there is new particles or whether this is uh, an effect of gravity which might be different from what Einstein had imagined.